The public will have a chance to say goodbye to Jose Fernandez. His family and close friends held a private service to remember his short-lived life. Our team coverage moves now to Southwest Miami Dade and our Victor Akendo. Victor. And Calvin, it was another somber scene at this funeral home in Westchester tonight. As you mentioned, there was a private viewing for Jose Fernandez's closest friends and family. A private service for those closest to Jose Fernandez Tuesday night at the Caballero Rivero Funeral Home in Westchester. Earlier, we saw Fernandez's heartbroken mother, Maritza, for the first time since the boating accident that took his life. She got into that black car, followed by a caravan of officers. We also saw the woman believed to be his girlfriend, pregnant with their first child. Meantime, fans continued showing support at his mother's home. Every time we went to the stadium, I can't think of not seeing Jose. So I just felt uh, I had to do something and let the family know how grateful we are for his life. More grief and heartache tonight for a man loved by so many taken too soon. And again, this was a private event tonight. The big public procession and viewing is tomorrow. We are in Southwest Miami Dade tonight. I'm Victor Okendo, Local 10 News. Victor, thank you. Viewings were also held for the other two victims who died in the boat crash with Jose Fernandez. Our own Carlos Suarez has that part of this tragedy. Carlos. Lori, loved ones are still gathered at the wake of one of those victims who died alongside Jose Fernandez and another man that he considered his brother. Family, friends, and loved ones gathered to mourn the life of 27-year-old Emilio Macias, one of the three victims killed in Sunday's boat crash. Vibrant personality, really funny guy. Um, I mean, he always wanted to make sure that you were, you know, if you were in the group, he wanted to make sure that you were having fun with them. Emilio graduated from G. Holmes Braddock in 2009. It's where he struck up a friendship with 25-year-old Eduardo Rivero. We're told the pair treated each other like brothers over the years. He was going places. Um, I mean, he had grown so much in his career. Uh, I mean, he was at the cusp of doing really good things. Late Tuesday afternoon, loved ones also gathered to remember Rivero. Outside the wake, funeral workers took in a display of flowers, while inside, family and close friends began the long and painful goodbye. He was so, he was a cool kid. He was just such a good person. So it was just very tragic to hear what happened. Rivero's brother-in-law had trouble describing the loss everyone is going through right now. Can you tell us what, what this is like for the family right now? It's horrible. His mom and his mom and my wife is devastated. Officers were among those who paid their respects to Macias, who was the son of a Miami-Dade police